Hello everyone, it is Swimblazer, back now video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with the application center GUI and the apply script. Um, welcome back to another video. I did actually just record this right after um, that application center, so welcome back. Um, now, if you were to do my channel, hit that subscribe button and that post notification, you guys. We just hit 10,000 and I love you guys so much. Um, also, feel free to give me some giveaway ideas because I am going to do that soon enough here. I just haven't started it because I've been a little busy this week, so it's a little pain in the butt. But um, I love you guys so much, and thank you again. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys are doing amazing because uh, it's it's been a little bit. Um, now, we are actually going to be doing this NPC look at dialogue. Now, you may be a little confused by the text title and kind of what it is, really. Um, but how it works is it's going to be an S NPC as in a, uh, just a player that is going to be in the game. And once you walk up to it, it's going to pop up a dialogue for you. So I'm actually going to show you how to do this. Now you're going to go in the description and look for models. And it should say and the NPC looked at dialogue. You're going to grab this right here and claim it. And it should say item own. So now you own this item. Um, and there you go. That's all you really need to worry about. Now once you have this, you're going to go to your toolbox in your inventory and grab NPC look at dialogue. And I'm going to quickly show you how this works. Now, um, you're going to ungroup this in starter player scripts. Um, this is the main script for it. And then you're going to ungroup this in workspace. Um, this is a folder, of course. So these two NPCs right here, of course, are just like look like this. But don't worry, they do look differently. Um, so I'll quickly actually just explain them real quick. Uh, there's a loader for it that loads your character I. Uh, user ID so feel free to grab your own user ID but you're just gonna go in configuration and change the user ID right here I put my own so it's gonna load my characters for me um, you can do any one you want so this is great for like cafes or hotels because um, you can use uh, like high mate high rank members or anything and it's pretty cool how it how it works but um, I'm gonna actually show you how it works in general so let's actually just hit play here because you're actually gonna love this one um, I did take a bit to work on this uh, I had some help but um it's pretty cool so as you can tell loaded in now let's say I go over here uh, they are looking at me as you can tell this one is now that one isn't but when I go farther so so see how I have a certain distance and then as I walk up it starts waving doing their animations now these aren't supposed to really be right next to them but as you can tell they start uh, saying things like this um, pretty cool right um, we got this guy over here yeah application center slash slash apply um, <laughs> this is basically what it is all about it is pretty cool. Um, now there's a little bit of a bug where it kind of keeps going, but I recommend just uh, not worrying about it. But this is pretty cool how it works. So um, yeah, and they look at you and everything about it. It's kind of like that head move script I have, but um, just just something kind of cool to put in your game if you want. Um, so how it works is we have a few things. Now I'm actually just going to quickly talk about how you can make more. So you can just duplicate this and um, you can go right here and just whatever, name it differently. So third bot. Um, and you're going to go to NPC talk and this is where uh, everything's going to be of mainly. Um, you can say message delay right here for seconds and message interaction distance. So how far they are from the person. So five is going to be smaller. Um, and you know bigger number the bigger the farther um, these are the messages you can add new messages by doing a comma and new quotations you can delete them whatever you want to do and you can just put your name right here for the uh, group game or whatever and then the code for the discord or something like that um, uh, then we have the NPCs right here which is last message and last message time um, don't really worry about this honestly you could just fix this so now I'm gonna add another person so we'll go char equals workspace and then dot npc look at and then third bot comma last message equals two i guess we'll do that so that's a little delayed and then the time equals zero again um, but that's how it works and uh pretty cool how that works so that's a third bot um the target is going to be the local player character so that's what we're doing and then of course this is when we're doing the in range and then we're doing the um settings and the npc look at part so now i can't really explain too much about this because i'm not too smart about it i got help with this um but mainly what we're doing is this is like the head move script so we got to do all these directions and mass stuff um just radiuses so don't really worry about it but um render stepped of course now you can honestly just go through this by yourself but right here we're doing the animation function and we're just doing the character added target part equals the head of course because that is what we're moving um, but this is the main thing you really need to worry about so just feel free to change these messages right here super simple and easy um, but yeah that's pretty much it um, that's all I really wanted to say because that's it like there's really nothing else to know 
Um, you can just mess with the scripts in here with uh, the times. So just these two ones, these little ones down here in the numbers. But um, that's all you really need to worry about, you guys. I hope you do kind of like this script. It's a little weird, but it's just something that was out of the blend. And I thought I should actually just make something like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.